Now let's take a look at how to create and sell a one-time paid product using the DAP shopping cart in Stripe. Log into DAP admin dashboard, go to products, manage page, create the product. Let's say the name of the product is one-time product. Uh, you can set up all the rest of the details, sales page, post login and all that. On this page, we are not going to cover um, all the details of uh, how to create a DAP product. In this video, we are going to cover that in a different uh, document. But basically set up uh, the rest of the details, allow free sign up, set it to no because it's a paid product and uh, save the product. Just make sure the product status is active. Then go to the pricing tab and uh, here you can set is this a free product to no because it's a paid product. Will there be subscription payments to no because it's a one time product. The price is going to match uh, whatever you want to charge the user. Uh, so it's $10 for example in this case. Uh, membership duration, how many days of access you want the users to get to the product when they purchase the product successfully. In this case, I want to give uh, users access forever uh, once they purchase. That's why I have set it to 9999. You can set it to whatever you want uh, based on your requirement. And uh, that's it. Then you can go to notifications tab, set the welcome email. Now this is the email the users are going to receive uh, if they are able to purchase the product successfully and DAP will automatically send them the email. Content responder tab, you can set up the content that belongs to the product that you want to drip. Autoresponder, you can set up the emails that you want to drip, uh, if any. So you can set up the rest of the products, um, just like any other regular DAP product, nothing special. And uh, once you have completed that, save the product, and your product is ready to be sold using the DAP shopping cart and Stripe. In fact, for one-time products, you don't have to do anything else in Stripe uh, because you don't have to define the product in Stripe. You just have to create it in DAP. That's it. Now let's take a look at how to sell this uh, product that we created using the DAP shopping cart and uh, make sure that uh, the purchase gets completed successfully via Stripe. Now that we have created the product and we are ready to sell it, let's take a look at how to create a checkout page where your users are going to be able to enter their credit card, their customer info, billing info and all that and complete the purchase. So it's easy to do once you have installed uh, the DAP shopping cart plugin in your WordPress uh, plugins. You will see that in the visual editor there is a new uh, editor icon for the DAP shopping cart called SC when you add or edit a page or a post. So let's say that um, you add a new page and I have called it by now, you can call it anything you want and you click on the SC editor button and you can configure uh, all the options for your checkout page. Now I'm not going to cover all the options in detail in this video because I have already done that in a different video. If you go to our documentation, go to DAP shopping cart, you will see an uh, entire um, document that, uh, that talks about how to create a checkout page in WordPress. So you can take a look at that for more details. But basically you click on that, configure the options, hit insert and you will see that the DAP shopping cart short code shows up here with the various options you picked in that editor. And that's it. Uh, you can uh, publish this page, save this page and it's ready to be used. Now do not directly access this page because this should only be accessed by a payment button. Because the payment button is going to have the product context. The payment button is going to know uh, what is the product, what's the price and all that. The buy now page by itself is not going to have that. So do not directly use it uh, or directly visit this page in a browser. It's not going to work. So use it, um, you, uh, only a payment button is the one that's going, that should be using this, uh, this page and we'll take a look at how to do that.